Hi guys, this is Raven Claw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now this is uh, a What If that I haven't came back to in a little bit. Uh, this is What If Deku is a Dragonkin. I think I'm on. Yeah, I'm on episode twenty. Now I originally thought I was a lot further on in the story than I originally am. So um, I thought. I thought we were at least, you know, in the forest training arc section of the what if, but we haven't even got there. We haven't even got to the sports festival yet, so we just got done with the USJ attack. Izuku was injured. I don't, or I don't really remember like if he was um, injured badly or severely. I don't remember like the last, well, what I said. All right, I had to check, um, like, how much, um, how injured Izuku is, but I didn't really specify on the damage. I re- I- I rewatched the battle scene on that part, so I'm gonna have to come up with something, so we're gonna start off, uh, this part off on, um, Izuku getting to the hospital as Recovery Girl is, um, Doing her best to recover him. Scratch that. She's doing her best to heal him. Recover him. Yeah, it's basically the same thing, but... Healing sounds a lot more urgent than recover. As recovery girl checks over Izuku, heals him with her, her cork. As she has the charts. As Inko and, you know, um, the rest of the people are finally there. Uh, Miss, Miss Tasuma, uh, your son was very lucky that his, um, lucky he, he, he has scales. Because if he didn't, he would be dead by now. His outer scales were total, tr uh, uh, sorry. His outer scales were total destroyed. Luckily, he had some inner scales to protect from the impact. Apparently, young Izuku over here has multiple layers of scales on his body. I want you to take it easy. No, no extreme exercises for the next... I actually don't know how long this is going to take, um, young Tsutsuma. I've never had to... I've never had to treat someone of your someone of your aptitude. Uh, no, I don't think she would say that. Uh, I she knows he's a dragon kid, so yeah, basically she would say someone of your species. As Tina, you know, chirps in. Oh, his outer scales. That that's going to take more than a couple weeks. It's. The inner scales are a lot more resilient than the outer scales. Recover girl. Um, is my son all right to be taken home? And recover, yeah, he's fine. He just needs to take it easy and wait for his scales to grow back out. The outer ones, at least. And she's like, very well. We'll have, we'll finish this discussion, Tina, at our manor. As everyone, you know, leaves. As Izuki grabs Mina by the hand, as you know, he, he drags her with them because she's kind of a part of this anyway, so. As everyone gets to the manor, as everyone sits down in the living room, as Ryuko uh, hands Tina some tea, as she's like, thank you. As she drinks it. As she takes a sip. As she puts it on the counter. Well, you know, the little table that's in the living room. Before I, before I begin, I want your... Whoever's in charge. As, 
is um Inko's confused. What do you mean? I want their promise that my people can be safe here. As uh, as Inko, you mean there's more of you here? Yes, of course. The ones that follow Bahamut and the ones that have my loyalty. Oh, sorry, guys. I have uh, I have about six hundred uh, warriors, about fifty or sixty children, and about two hundred civilians. I need a refuge for them to stay at while we're stuck on while we're stuck on this world because we're kind of stuck here. Only ones able to um, to travel to different dimensions. It's behind it's Bahamut. As Inko and Ryoko see um, Nezu walking in, I. I believe I can ask you that now. Oh, Tina, was it? As, as you, you know, sits on the the couch next to one of them. As she's, my apologies, Inko, for a barging in the way I did. But once I, once I heard there was another one like Izuku over here, I got curious. Hello, um, I am Nezu. And whatever information you give us, as long as it's vital, we will. Uh, I will have a place made for your for your kind. You won't be bugged. It'll, it'll be on one of the properties that you know. I own. And what information I've been told about this. Bahamut character, it's very disturbing, none the least. Sorry guys, give me a second here. You, um, you humans need to take this man very seriously. He wants to eradicate all life on this planet. That's human, at least. And I don't know how he's going to go about this. All I know that he required a uh, little girl who had a very unique ability I've never seen before. What I get of it, she's able to r rewind someone. I don't know how far, but knowing Bahamid... It's not going to end well for the girl. As much as I dislike humans in general, I don't totally hate your species. I just don't, I don't care for your species too much. But unlike Bahamid, I'm willing to let go of old grudges. Because old grudges is just going to, um, it's going to stop my species my kind from from um, growing and and blossoming and consider how my little brother is so fond of the human race I decided I want to stick around I have no choice in the matter but I I will not cause no trouble I'll keep my people in line if you do the same it's a give or take relationship but All I know it, um, this when it happens, I keep I kept hearing um, kept hearing Bahamid uh, talk to his generals something about I Island. I don't know what that is, but as Nezu knows exactly what that is. Also, I know where he's where he's at right now. As she gives him the location, but about time you get heroes down there, he'll be gone. 
He switches off. He switches base uh, continuously. From from getting spotted. And he and um, I've also been notified that Bahamas been um, meeting someone. More recently here now. Someone goes by the name All for One. I don't know what if that's even a person. As you know, she confused. That's a weird ass name. She thinks, as. Nezu gets a cold shiver. All I could say, um, Tanya, um, it's a, this all for one and um, all might have a history. As Tanya doesn't really, I really don't care. Yeah, it doesn't really matter to me. If, but what matters is stopping Bahamut. I don't know when this is taking place. I couldn't get the information out of him while I was there. As Nazu pops the question, why were you with uh, Bahamut in the first place? <sighs> Me and my people were being hunted down. After we got, after we got teleported, transported, to a different dimension. We were struggling and down some sometime down the line we came in contact with Bahamut. And Bahamut was the only um person I sorry. It's the only person I know that able to um to travel through dimensions. He was my only option to find my brother. You understand, family and all. As soon as I, as soon as I found out he had some ill, uh, what he was planning here, I picked my side. As she looks at Izuku, I can't defeat him. If I could, I would have, wouldn't even have bothered um, being here right now. He would have been dead and dealt with. But the only one that's able to deal with him. Sadly to say, no one you, uh, no one here, anyone from the human race, can't stand up to him. You would die. It would be a massacre. It is my brother, as she points to, um, to him. Don't think I haven't noticed your magic aura, little brother. It's quite vast. Even though you're trying to suppress it, I can still notice you're quite powerful. As easy goes, how do I refer you as? I don't know how what to call you. As Tina's like, just call me sister or Tina will be fine. Fine sister. That's gonna be hard to get that's gonna be hard to get used to. See you've you're talented in the arts, I take it. As she's like, I'm no slouch to the mystic arts. I bet I, you might be more powerful than me, but I bet you I could show you a lot. And the thing about killing Bahamid, he's going to die. As Inko and uh, both his mothers looks at him as mom. He wants to eradicate the entire human race. By doing so, he's eliminating Mina, and I will not have that. Anyone that threatens Mina's lives will die. No mercy. But I'm nowhere near ready to face him at the moment. I'm not prepared. If I do fight him in the future I'll be prepared for it I won't rush into it like an idiot and no one on this planet can't stop him no disrespect to you know the humankind or human race 
humans are quite fragile. I al I've always had to hold back my strength in case I might, you know, break someone's bone. Look at it like, like this. It's like walking in a glass house. And you're carrying about three or four hundred pounds of weight. Yeah, so it's been fun. But it's but is it's nothing you could do, Mom. Listen, Isuku, I know you you want to take care of this or it's like your responsibility. But we're not gonna simply, you know, lay around and wait for you to act. We're going to we're gonna do what we have to. As Izuku's very well, Mom. I had no intention of stopping you from doing or any of the hero from trying to stop him. I just want to give you guys the 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 reality the reality of the situation. And she's like You've always been too cynical, Iz Izuku. Despite how much we want to protest uh, you fighting that that monster, you're gonna do it regardless. Once you have your met, once you have your mind set on something, you're pretty much stubborn. You're gonna do it re regardless of what everyone says. As Nezu gets up, you might excuse me, and Miss Tina. As she hands her a card, call me tomorrow, and I'll have, I'll show you where, where you and your people will be staying. That seems like thank you, um, Nezu. I do appreciate it. No problem, Miss Tina. You gave me some good, good, good intel. Now I gotta come up with a strategy. Maybe some, maybe over some tea. As just the thought of tea, you know. He's TSS, so you know, you know, Nezu. So, as he walks off, come on, Mina. As Mina gets up, all right, moms, I have to go back to the dorm, so I have school in the morning. As you know, they they drop them, well, uh, they drop him off. Tina stayed with, well, Tina went with them to see where her brother went to school. As they say goodbye, as Tina says, we're going to talk tomorrow. As Izuku says, very well, sister. As she goes off, as she stays with um, Iz Izuku's parents, because she has nowhere to stay. So she stays there where those two, uh, those two are trying to get close to Izuku's sister, to Tina. As Izuku closed the door, as he's about to turn around, as Mina does, jumps and hugs him, as she starts crying. As she was, she was scared of what happened today. As Izuku, you know, lifts her up, puts her on the bed, and as she, as she lays her down, as she's like, it's all right, Mina. As she pulls him in close, as she kisses him, as as they, you know, spend the night together. Well, they normally sleep in the same bed anyway, so so they have, you know. A good night together. As we cut to next day, as they both get dressed, as they walk out of the dorm, as everyone to uh, everyone that was at the USJ, make sure Izuku's all right. As he's like, I'm fine. It was just a slight bruising around my ribs. As they ask him a bunch of questions, as I means like we have to get to, in, we have to get to class. We're gonna be late. As you know, they go off to you know go to class. They haven't announced the sports festival just yet. So the, the, the day has progressed as we cut to the, the cafeteria. Izuku hears some, um, some yelling, like cheering, as Izuku eyes widen as he sees his sister, as he has Monoma by the throat, up in the air. As she's ready to blast him, as Izuku rush, as, as he walked over there, grabs his sister hand. Sister, 
I would reframe. I would like you from reframing hurting the weakling, please. Brother, not now. I'm disciplining him. He was very rude to me. The arrogant prank called me a succubus. That requires harsh punishment. Just because I have wings and horns doesn't make me one of those whores. Uh, Izuku, please, sis. Last thing we needed you killing one of the people here. <sighs> Fine. Lucky. If I see you again, you're dead. As she walks off. Suzuku sees Monobo getting back up as he kicks him as he goes flying into the wall. Come on, Mina. You must be starving. As Mina's like, are you going to... Explain what just happened. Oh, uh, nothing. I was just taking out the trash. So, how's the class been going on? As you know, they have a brief conversation as they eat lunch. As they go back to class 1A as Inko is there with Azawa. As they're, as they're announcing the sports festival. As everyone's getting all hyped for it. All right, calm down. Now, I will tell you when the sports festival will be occurring. We're holding it back because of the USJ attack. So we're giving you students about... Yeah, I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, because um, you have three months to train to get ready for the sports festival. UA's um, gym facilities. Oh no, the gym is will be will be access to all students, and also areas where you're able to use your cork in training. Good midnight. You're here, as as midnight goes about her speech. How she's what what she what she's here for. And she's like, you know, they're picking their hero names right now. I'm just doing it for right now because, you know, I want it early. So everyone in canon did, you know, their canon part. I don't know what um, Lou and Shin's um, hero name would be, but I'm not worried about that for right now. Um, Izuku's going to be, you know, Anubis because that's what um, Bahamut calls him. So he thought it would be... Um, there's going to be some incidents where he's going to come come, come across um, Bahamut and he's going to call him Anubis all the time. So that's going to cause some problems. Like people, people are going to start asking questions. So he picked uh, Anubis as his hero name. Pro hero Anubis. The end of class comes around as, you know, Tina walks in. As she walks over to Izuku, I need to worry you, brother. And you could come too, pink thing. I mean, it's like, I have a name. I, I, I know. I have no interest in knowing it right now. I'm in a hurry. As they walk out of school, as, as oh, I'm sorry, Tina's like, I heard you're going to be out of school for a while. D or college, they call it, apparently. Don't know why you would go to such a place. It seems really tedious. But I'm not going to judge on people's enjoyment uh, out of things. But considering you're going to be out of school for the next three months, I'm going to be training you until then. Because you, I've been here, you're doing something called a sports festival. I think it's some sort of combat orientated thing. Judging by, by what the occupation the people from this from the academy takes heroes and villains interesting concept and with humans with you know these abilities quite interesting really it, it almost looks like some magic but clearly it's not 
But I am curious, brother, why haven't you asked me the reason why you were sent here? As he's accused, I thought about it, um, sister. It doesn't matter to me. I know nothing about that life. No, no disrespect to you, sister. I just don't remember it at all. My life is here. That's all I care about. As, as Tina gets it. As she understands him. I don't make a habit of... What's the word I'm looking for, guys? Um, let's see. Um, habit of... Yeah, okay. I don't have the habit of drawing. Um, ah, I totally... Oh. Yeah, I need to figure out how to phrase this right. I don't have the habit of trying to control what what things have happened in the past. It's pointless. I prefer to um, have my attention on the present. Here and now. Not in the past or the future. And I think Mina would, um, would gain quite a bit from this training as well. She has been trained in the mystical arts. As Tina's like, really? And how, how, as she's like, you did it, brother. As, yes. So when do we start, um, sister? As she's like, immediately. As she grabs um, Izuku's hand and grabs um, Mina's hand. As she, you know, she started to walk faster. As she's getting excited uh, to, 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 um, to just fight, you know, Izuku. Sister, I know I don't know you that long. I don't like that smile. As she's like, don't worry about it, brother. It's going to be so much fun. As that uh, doesn't sound like it's going to be fun for me. Yeah, she's, just, she's like, nonsense. As we're probably going to... Yeah, give me a second here. As during their training, Mina, you know, improved drastically. So did... Um, Izuku didn't really gain in power he just learned techniques and different spells as izuki was trained in magic on hand to hand more to touch but on some areas she saw that needs to needs to be corrected as she you know finally um over the time they got to know all three of them got to know each other tina found out how far um izuki would go for mina and pretty damn far. And Mina would do the same. So she, you know, for a human, Mina is not that bad towards her. So, you know, they have, they're on friendly terms. Not on other, you know, humans, but that's the one human, you know, she, she doesn't hate being around. Now, Tina does know how to use magic, but... She normally doesn't. She just uses her fire as a dragon. So, but you know, she does use it if she has to, but she doesn't mostly focus on it. But she trains it. She trains it like extremely a lot. So, doesn't mean she, uh, it doesn't mean that if she's like, um, doesn't mean like her spells are weak or she's weak at magic. She just prefers not to use magic because it's too overpowering. It, it finishes the fight real fast, and she's not all about, you know, fast kills. She wants to thrill the fight. Uh, Tina um, trained Izuku and Mina for about two months. As she, um, she went off to do her own thing. She finished training them. She didn't need to train them for the full three months. They got it pretty down, what they, what they needed to learn. She didn't teach them everything, but she taught them the things that they needed to learn. After the training, they went back to dorms. As they're just laying about, recovering. Hey, Mina. As Izuku's reading a book, as Mina is on the bed, reading a magazine. As she's like, yeah, Izuku, what is it? What is it? As you want to go on those little... Um, Considering we don't have training any anymore, you want to go to the movies or something? And she's like, "Really?" As, yeah, I heard they're playing as um, 
one um, old school um, alien film. I figure you would get a kick out of it. Really? I've been trying to get you to drag you into those things for ages. I, I, yeah, I'm going to try it, try it out. As, as you know, they agree upon the day they, they, uh, they want to do it. So Mina's really excited. It's pretty much a date what it, what it, what it comes down to it. As you see two tickets to the movies already um, paid for, it's in the, it's in the book. As me didn't see it, as these you had this planned out f for a while now. As me was all bugging about, you know, just talking about um, just alien movies in general. I think we'll stop it there. Yeah, th that's a good spot to leave it off because I don't know where to go. Like, I know where to where to where to take it. I just need to add more sh stuff to it so I can make a full length video for the next part. So, hope you guys have a good night and day, judging by time zone, time zones or wherever you are on the world. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.